Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about how to interface a 5800CO to a Qualsys IQ2 system. Now before you go out and buy a 5800CO to integrate with your system, you're going to want to make sure that your IQ2 is compatible with the 5800CO. Now the 5800CO is part of the 5800 line, which uses the 345 megahertz frequency to communicate. And there's many different models of the IQ2 out there, many of them which aren't able to communicate with this sensor. The system itself, it will need to have the legacy 345 card installed inside of it. And there are a few different models, or models of the IQ2 that have this. There's a couple different ways you can do to figure this out too. Some of the easier ones are, if you bought a IQ2 system and this was the box, it will be compatible with 345 megahertz sensors. Another thing you can do is you can go to the system itself and you can check the hardware number of it. So if we swipe down from the top and click on settings, and then we click on advanced settings, enter the default code 2222, and I go to about right here where it says hardware. If I click this and then scroll down, the part number QS9 201-5208-840. This is one of the part numbers that is compatible with the, uh, the 345 megahertz sensors. Another thing you can do on the system itself is that if we go back, we go to installation, we go to devices, security sensors, add sensor. Right here where it says source, you see how it says security RF 345? This tells me that the system can interface with sensors that work on that frequency. If you do have an older system though, or you, if, you have a, if you have a system that isn't compatible with these sensors, there is a way to interface them with the system. You just have to get a translator so that it can communicate with your panel. So if you are set on buying a 5800CO, just make sure that you know what you need before you pick it up to save yourself the headache. As far as interfacing it with the system, it's very easy to do. It's going to learn it like any other sensor. Right here, I have a 5800CO. This is fresh out of the box. And as you can see, the battery tab has not been pulled yet. So on my system, I'm going to go to the sensor enrollment section. So settings again, advanced settings, 2222 installation, devices, security sensors, and then auto learn sensor. So on my 5800CO, I'm going to pull the battery tab. And as you can see, we did get a serial number which lines up with the serial on the back of the 5800CO. 0404693. So we know that this did pick up this device when I pulled that battery tab. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So as you can see, it did pick up the sensor. We just need to adjust some of the sensor attributes from the default that came in, as it's a CO detector and not a door and window sensor. So in the sensor type, I'm gonna click here, scroll down, and pick on CO detector. Everything else will work for me though, so this is all set. I'm going to click on save. We're all set to go. Before you do install one of these in your house, you're just going to want to run through testing it with the system to make sure it works. But after it's programmed and tested, go ahead and install it wherever you're going to put it and then you're, you're good to go. The reason that you may want to use devices from the 5800 line is that the line has been around for a long time. As it's made by Honeywell, the devices are very high quality and you may find something in the 5800 family that works better for you compared to different devices that are compatible with the system, maybe some that Qualsys makes that aren't working for the application that you need. And you just have to get something from the 5800 line to, uh, to accomplish what you're looking to do. Just make sure that your system is compatible directly with the devices before going out and installing them or pick up a translator so that they can be interfaced with your system. 
If you do have any questions about 5800 devices, the IQ2, or how to program them to your system, feel free to send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. Give us a call at 888-818-7728 or head to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. Did you enjoy the video? Feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.